In uh, conducting energy balance for a closed system, we need to look at the interactions between the system and its surroundings. In this tutorial, we will look at uh, interactions that are not due to temperature difference, but mainly related to work. An example would be movement of a piston in a cylinder uh, in case of a compressor. Now the symbol that we will use for work is uh, uppercase W. The units are joules and uh, we use uh, capital J for the unit. We also uh, follow a sign convention. When work is done by the system then work is positive. Whereas when work is done on the system work is negative. Note that this uh, sign convention is uh, opposite to what we saw in another module for heat transfer in a closed system. So let's uh, consider this uh, slab uh, and we will uh, look at work done on the system. If we apply certain force on this slab and move it by a certain distance, uh, let's call it ds, then the work that is done on the system is W equals minus which is our sign convention uh, since the work is done on the system F for force times DS that's the small distance the slab is moved. Now if the locations are 1 to 2 uh, then we can also write this in integral form as W1 dash 2 equals minus and uh, we have an integral from 1 to 2 f times ds uh, which will equal uh, minus f s2 minus s1 and that will equal f times s1 minus s2. Let's uh, consider work due to a moving boundary. So in this case we will look at a certain gas for example in a cylinder and uh, there is a piston and the system boundary encloses only the gas so that is the system. Now the cylinder and the uh, piston are outside the system boundary so they are not part of the system and let's say that we heat this gas in that case as we know when you heat a gas it expands and so the gas will expand and it will move the cylinder so we have work done by system equals DW equals F times DS. Now note also that pressure equals force per unit area or we can say P for pressure equals F divided by A or force equals pressure times area PA. Then if we substitute this into our equation then dw equals pa times ds. Now note that area times the distance will equal volume so dw equals p times dv so it's pressure times the change in volume. So in this case with the movement of piston because the gas was heated or the work was done by the system then W1 to 2 equals integral from 1 to 2 P dV. Now let's look at work due to gravitational forces. Recall that Newton's second law of motion says F equals mass times acceleration due to gravity so we have F equals mg. Now let's say that there is an object and we raise that object by distance dz. Then the required work will be dw equals f times dz. So dw equals by substituting for f mg times dz and then we can integrate dw from 1 to 2 and that equals mg dz integral 1 to 2 and if we evaluate the integral since mass and acceleration due to gravity are constant the integrated form will be equals mg 
times Z2 minus Z1. This uh, represents the change in potential energy uh, from location 1 to 2 for the object. Let's consider work due to change in velocity. Let's say that an object is moving at a velocity u1. Uh, then the work required to change the velocity to u2 is what we need to calculate. So again use uh, Newton's second law of motion which is F equals mass times acceleration MA. Now you know that acceleration is the change in velocity. So A equals du over dt. And you also know that velocity is distance over time. So we can say that u is ds over dt which we can write also as ds equals u dt. Then the work is w equals f times ds and uh, for ds we can write u dt and for force F, we can write M times DU over DT. So DT and DT will cancel out. Then work equals M, the integral, 1 to 2, U times DU. Now you know that the integral of U DU will be U square over 2. So we have W equals mass m and the integrated expression u square over 2 evaluated between the limits 1 and 2. So w equals m over 2 and in parentheses u2 square minus u1 square where you know that the mass times u square divided by 2 is the kinetic energy of the system. So, right hand side here expresses the change in kinetic energy of the system. Uh, let's look at work due to shaft rotation, uh, which where we may be using an electric motor to turn a shaft. And uh, we have a radius r, uh, the rotational uh, speed is n for rpm, revolutions per minute. And uh, we have a force f. So, the uh, torque in this case and we use the symbol omega uh, uppercase omega equals f times r so if we consider a movement along the circumference of a distance s we can then write s equals the circumference uh, which is 2 pi r times the uh, rotational speed which is n uh, as we noted before or could be uh, revolutions per minute so we have W equals torque divided by R times S and then W equals omega over R times 2 pi R times N by substituting the value for S and we have then so W equals 2 pi N omega. Now the other work will be due to any of the frictional forces and uh, that we will simply note that work done to overcome friction W will equal minus EF where EF represents the frictional energy in units of J. So these are all the uh, work terms uh, that we want to be concerned with for a closed system.